Concrete is the most widely used building material in the world. It has been for centuries and will continue to be so. Concrete is the ideal building material. It is strong, durable, and economical. It is readily available throughout the world and is delivered to the job site in a fluid state where it could take the shape of whatever formwork is constructed. Sightcast tilt-up concrete structures are energy efficient, low maintenance, environmentally friendly, and cost effective. Tilt-up has done well in natural disasters. Disasters, however, can come from nature in the form of hurricanes, tornadoes, and earthquakes and similar events, or unfortunately, they can come from man in the form of war and terrorism. The purpose of the testing that's being done, and you're going to witness in this video, will provide proof and evidence that Sightcast tilt-up construction will continue to withstand the test of time. Well, the Air Force is currently rewriting criteria for blast-resistant construction. And the data that's obtained from this program will factor into that very heavily. And we'll be able to establish new limit states for the construction in extreme events, such as a blast. And that will be very helpful for us in uh, designing and planning for future construction on military facilities. Some of the criteria that the military has been using for construction of facilities has been overly conservative, uh, that our ductility ratios and our allowable support rotations have perhaps been over conservative. And this information will help us to fine tune that and that will allow us to uh, develop new standoff criteria perhaps or even uh, increase levels of protection for the types of construction that we're, we're testing. This research program was started I think in about 2004 to uh, look at conventional uh, concrete wall construction used in the United States. This particular test uh, we're looking at right now is sort of the culmination of the last three, four years of work that we've done. We've looked at different panels um, statically and now we're looking at them under dynamic loads. Primarily to look at the performance of panels under um, blast loads particularly from threats such as car bombs and anti-terrorism force protection type applications. What we're looking at here is all military construction, for example, has a requirement for anti-terrorism force protection. A lot of the military designs now say if you have a certain distance away that you can protect against, you can build your structure out of virtually anything according to the building code. You can't always get that standoff distance. What we're trying to demonstrate here is that these wall systems can be built economically uh, inside the, the minimum distance requirements and still provide viable protection for federal structures. A lot of the criteria that was written for designing these types of systems was before the sandwich wall panel was really introduced into the market and, and the, some of the criteria is as old as the 40s and 50s. What we want to do with this program is to rewrite design methodology for the future, take in the new technology and to minimize the cost, we're really trying to bring all that in together. with the use of design build now in the military arena, that's an avenue that tilt-up contractors are very versed in. I just think that this opens tilt-up to a whole new arena for being considered as viable a method as any for extreme blast conditions. And based on these tests, tilt-up has a great future. This research is very exciting for the industry. Now that we're generating the data, and we're actually validating some models, we should be able to use all of this knowledge to really push the use of sandwich wall panels as a viable, cost-effective alternative for blast protection. The next step really is to go into existing facilities or existing types of uh, construction and look at how to retrofit those facilities and make them stronger. We also need to look at how do these panels do when there's openings with doors and windows? Uh, is there anything change? Any failure modes that are different? And then the final thing would be to look at these 
as a whole facility and look at um, if a complete structure was made out of these panels or of this type of a system, would we have any other issues that we are not aware of and how would that work? Those are the future uh, direction of the program that we'd like to take. Uh, this is the type of thing that uh, we are uh, very happy to participate in. Uh, it's a great benefit to DOD. I think it's a great benefit to the industry and to our profession uh, to be able to uh, have a part in doing research that potentially saves lives.